Okay. So, right, okay. So, one of the things uh, that we do in the uh, group is um, course lessons uh, together, and one of my favourite um, my favourite lessons is lesson fourteen from A Course in Miracles, which says, "Now, here's the thing." It says, um, "God." One. Of, it says it in the text, "God did not create cancer, so it's not real." And uh, like, uh, and that's such a powerful, uh, a powerful lesson. And uh, and remember, like Dr. Hawkins, like of twenty-three illnesses, uh, had people shift major illnesses. It can be used for health, but it can also be used for you know, if you've got issues with relationships or, or, or money or whatever it is. Such a such a and and what does it mean? And why is it one of my favorite? And he, he, there's another version you can go, God did not create cancer, so it's not real. God did not create poverty, so it's not real. Or God did not create conflicted relationships, so it's not real. Or he could do, I cancel my belief in cancer, I'm an infinite being. Or I cancel my belief in poverty consciousness, I'm an infinite being. Whichever version you want to. But when you totally refute or delete something from your consciousness, um, it, it will no longer attract for you. Uh, it's like that viral bit of your ego is deleted. And in, um, uh, like I've had, uh, I had a white light spiritual experience with Muji, which I won't go into now, but it's like when you're out of ego, there is only light and love, you know, and presence. So in truth, so from my experience, it, it's true. Like if you deleted your ego, there would be no fear-based thoughts there at all. So you can say like God did not create cancer because in, in the infinite realm there is no such thing as cancer, it's just a belief system that's within the collective of humanity. And actually in my experiences and the experience of many, it's when you delete the, the, the thoughts that are manifesting this stuff they disappear from life. And it's a process of surrender, it's not asking for anything, it's just like yeah. if I'm holding on to um, like I had kidney failure so I did, God did not create kidney failure, so it's not real. I kept doing that. You know, like in, in the infinite realm of God's presence, love and light and presence, there is no such thing as cancer. It doesn't exist. So as I deleted it from my consciousness, like it doesn't exist, it's a part of the nightmare of the collective, of the collective ego. So as I deleted it, what I found was that there was a miracle. I had a transplant, it was gone. As I, as I said, God did not create asthma, you know, I said, so when I did that, or I cancel my belief in as my infinite being, I, d I did it like it does not exist in the infinite realm, which I knew to be true. And it was funny, as it deleted from my consciousness, I was discharged from the asthma clinic, uh, and I was off the inhalers. And then I used to, be, I used to have gout, like these horrible uh, regular pains in my feet, uh, which are really horrific if you're if anyone that's ever experienced gout. So I said, God, you know, I just did God did not create gout. Because in the infinite realm of love and light, that doesn't exist. I just kept doing that, and once, it, and it seemed like once, it, once it deleted from my consciousness, you know, I didn't. I stopped having gout attacks, and then they discharged me from the uh, rheumatology clinic. So I found all these miracles because if you delete all these limiting thoughts, I found that they also uh, deleted from my life. You yeah, see, yeah, yeah. and they, they, you know, it wasn't it wasn't actually like God's will. It wasn't my ego's will that was holding on to all of this. It wasn't yeah, a manifestation yeah, yeah. of the being 100% with God. So, so I do like so that's um, so that's one of my favourite lessons. And I, you know, like I've said, if anyone's um, if you've ever experienced mystical experiences where you're in the timeless now, or blissed out, yeah. you know there is no negative thought yeah. in in those fields. And if you were to stay in that field, yeah. or if you, I mean, if you come out of those fields and start repeating these thoughts like, oh, you know, I've, I've, I've got gout, or yeah. I've, got, I've got this illness, or, I, you know, like, you know, I, you know, I, I don't know where I'm going to get my next meal, whatever those thoughts, then they start to have, but if you stayed in that field, yeah. then, you know, my experience is, once these are deleted, and you stay in these high vibrations, then those negative things started disappearing from my life. So I love the, that, that specific, in my favourite lesson, one of my favourite lessons is lesson 14, which we do in the group, and we go around in the group, and also, um, instead of this, whatever it is, I could see peace, like instead of kidney failure, I could see peace, or instead of poverty consciousness, I could see peace. 
I think one of my favourite, and I think many course stu uh, student favourites, is I pray for a miracle to see whatever it is differently. Like pray for a miracle to, to see, see. Like I pray for a miracle to see my kidney failure differently. Right. You know, or I pray for a miracle to see my lack of money differently. Right. Or I pray for a miracle to see this difficult relationship yeah, yeah. with my father differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it invites a shift in perception from yeah. a from a higher vibration. Yeah. So the, the, so those are some of the the lessons. And they have some like easy ones like. Uh, God is a love in which I bless my father, or God is a love in which I forgive my father. But we do we do those, and they're um, systematically like the course is taking you from uh, like a low level consciousness to a higher. Like it says, like in the beginning, it will tell you like you can say like God is a love in which I forgive my father, for example. Yeah. Or probably more relevant would be God is a love in which I forgive the builders. I don't know. God is a love in which I forgive the builders. And then, but later on, once you've forgiven them, you realize there was nothing ever to forgive because yeah. you go into those fields of oneness yes. and universal love and you see beyond the idea of separation. So the course then takes you to the more advanced vibrations as you start to delete uh, the ego. Yes.